Here's my 09 Buell 1125CR. Just rolled through a beautiful Ohio storm here. But cleared up, so I figured why not stop, do a quick review, dry off a little bit here. Review the modifications I've done. Forgive the bike, very dirty right now. Again, just went through a storm. But, all right, mods are as follows. Just do one at a time, but uh, first, probably the most noticeable are all the fairings of the bodywork swapped out to carbon fiber. I believe the company is MDI that makes them. Finish is pretty good looking. Like a lot, very trick. Duke body esque looking. Fitment is not the greatest. Probably can't tell because the bike's so dirty, but around here and I believe up here on the front with the cowling piece that goes over this rear seat chafes a bit. Uh, I noticed it's starting to wear away, kind of flatten the finish, so I decided to take it off. But I mean, that's probably the same thing with the stock one. Also, as far as finish, at least for me, the keyhole here, the key cylinder, had to kind of dremel it out, round it out a bit for that key cylinder to sit properly. And lastly, as far as fitment goes, up here on the front pod, I don't know if you can see it, but tab doesn't seat fully in there, but nice and secure still. Overall though, very pleased with the carbon fiber. Nice shiny look, very unique. Other mods have the tail eliminator. So there's the no external turn signals on the back. And up front, if you've ever seen a stock 1125CR, they have the big goofy Dumbo elephant ear looking mirrors with the turn signals built in the front. Those I did away with and what I went to is two very small LED strips Kind of see them here and uh, on the other side. Turn that on real quick. Nice and bright. Now, because, or at least from what I've read, uh, I switched to LEDs. You will get hyper flash every once in a while. The, uh, there's no extra relay built in. It's all done inside the cluster. So when the bike's off, it kind of has the hyper flash, sometimes goes away, but when I'm riding, usually I notice it flashes normal. Other mods include a race EBR ECM. K&N filter, and a Dean Adams, or a Kita RT4 exhaust, powder coated in black. Exhaust is very loud. Love it, but uh, do have to ride with earplugs to save my hearing. Uh, the exhaust, I'll do another video on that later on. Uh, you can kind of see here where the bike has had the notorious clutch weep was upgraded I think it's called the EBR clutch weep eliminator or something I don't know but uh, has an o-ring a couple other uh, things you got to press in there took care of that now I just need to clean it up currently the bike has 10,901 miles on it. So getting close to the valve service period, I believe is 12,400 miles. We're getting close. Other mods include some no-name bar end mirrors. Work pretty good. Not too bad find myself adjusting them quite a bit.
You can see the tank I chose was with the vents. I plan to get some mesh in there, help protect the K&N a little bit better. Without further ado, I'll start it. There she is. Thanks for watching.